We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 4, Creating Headers and Footers. This is a super short activity, it's just one step, but it's one that I find my students frequently have trouble on. And so there's a couple of very specific things we wanna pay attention to. First of all, make sure that you have the New Adventures Approved document open on your screen. We're gonna to go to the Insert tab and over here to the Header and Footer group. And we're going to go up to footer, click that drop down, and select the blank three columns option. So headers and footers, that's information that lives in on each page of your document. Um, it, it, you can put information in like page numbers and it will automatically change for each different page. For our footer, so we have three fields set up for us. And in each one of these, they're already set up, so if we click on it, it's gonna select that as an area we can put in information. Now, when I select the first one, I wanna make sure I'm not hitting the delete key or the backspace key, but instead I'm typing right over the top of it. So we're gonna type new adventures, and a couple of things to pay attention to is first of all, making sure that you're capitalizing the first letter of both words and that you're not adding the period. I know sometimes in the instructions it can be a little confusing when to add that and when not to. In this case, don't add the period and make sure you don't put any additional spaces right there. You just want the words new adventures. We're gonna click into the middle field, make sure that's selected, and then we're gonna use the delete key on our keyboard. So the delete key is different from your backspace key, so make sure you're pressing delete. And for our kids, the, the delete key lives in the upper right-hand corner of our keyboard, but yours might be in a different spot, so peek around for that. Press the delete key, that's going to delete that whole field out for you. In the last one, we're going to click and select that field, but instead of typing anything, we're actually going to insert a page number. Now, when we're doing page numbers um, for either a header or a footer, you wanna make sure that you use the page number function. That way, it changes the page number on each different page. If I were to just type in a single number here, that number, like the number one, would then show up on every single page. It wouldn't automatically change. So we need to make sure we use that page number function. <clears throat> so to find that, I have selected that field, first of all, and I should be on the header and footer tools design tab. Um, it lives, this is one of those hidden tabs that shows up only when we're using something that we need those functions for, in this case, the header and the footer. I'm gonna change uh, the layout of my instruction panel really quickly because sometimes that instruction panel can block what we need to see. So up here at the top, you're gonna to see mine says header and footer tools, and underneath that, there's a design tab. It's different than this design tab, so make sure you're finding the correct one. Those hidden tabs always show up in blue, and they always show up over on the right-hand side. So on that header and footer, footer tools design tab, I'm gonna go over to the header and footer group, and in here, I'm gonna see header, footer, and page number. So I'm gonna use the page number dropdown, and it's gonna give me some different suggestions, such as top of page, bottom of page, page margins, or current position. Now, I have this selected already, so I wanna make sure I'm using the current position so that my page number shows up right here. So down on current position, I'm gonna go and find the accent bar two style. So once you find it, go ahead and click on it. And that's going to put that page number in for me right there. Now, here's a really important one um, that I think a lot of students miss, is the very last thing that we need to do is on that design tab in the header and footer group, we want to close the header and press the close header and footer button, which is this guy right here. So if you've somehow navigated away, you just want to find that design tab that's over on the right, and make sure you click the close header and footer button. All right, so there's different ways to close your header and footer. I often tell my students we can play jump rope by double clicking in the bottom and then double clicking into the document. 
So if I double click the bottom, that opens up my header and footer. If I double click into my document, it will close it. But because Jasper Active wants us to make sure we're using that close header and footer button, be sure that you close it that way. It's showing you multiple ways to do it. Now I can see here, it says new adventures, page one on my first page. And if I scroll down, there's new adventures, page two, and then new adventures, page three. So my page number is automatically changing. Go ahead and mark that as answered and click submit.